hello hello welcome back to my channel um i know i have not been the most consistent on here but we are working on it we're working on it guys i apologize i'm so sorry but we're back with another video and another chit chat obviously you guys can tell when i'm sitting here i have no makeup on it's i'm about to get ready um i actually have an event that i'm going to be hosting in two hours um here in toronto i am back home i know my last video i was traveling i was in europe i went to nine countries last month which was insane and i'm actually off to miami next week to host a very big event out there but we're hosting one here in toronto in my city before i fly out again um so anyways that is what we're getting ready for today so because i have and i've realized that i have a lot of just hustlers that follow me people that you know whether you guys have your own business or um you know you're i just i have been reading my comments right and i actually read all my comments and you guys are all just like a lot of you guys that follow me here not follow me subscribe to me here um you know you guys are business minded and you know you think like me and with all that I was like, why don't I make a video that can really help a lot of you guys with whatever goals you guys have, with whatever it is you're trying to achieve for yourself, with whatever it is you're trying to create for yourself. This will pertain to anybody, right? Take the stuff that I'm going to share with you guys today and apply it to your life and watch you hit any goal, watch you stay productive, stay focused, and really achieve whatever it is that you're trying to achieve. So I literally just put on the, oh my gosh, this packaging, all my makeup and skincare, like the packaging is just i swear it's not a good representation of me um because it's just like destroyed and i swear i'm you know i'm not a mess uh, but when i travel so much everything just gets damaged this is the ultra repair cream i'm using i've been really liking the i got these like sample sizes of the glow recipe and i actually been really liking them okay i'm gonna be using milk grip hydro grip primer Okay, so what are we talking about today? I'm gonna give you guys, and by the way, I actually just, I even have my other phone here. By the way, a lot of you guys asked me what I record on. I record on my phone. I have a 13 Pro Max. Videos are literally done on my phone. So that's that for those of you who have been asking. But anyways, I have my other phone here because I actually wanna, I have a couple of things that I really want to talk to you guys about and these are things that I actually just trained my team on the other day um you know because I wanted to help my team hit any single goal they have this year so I want to share this training with you guys and I just kind of have not training but you know the notes that I share with my team with you guys I'm also trying out a bunch of new products um NARS I'm late to the trend I know this is like years old the light reflecting foundation i love the charlotte tilbury um airbrush flawless so i don't know i want to try this and then i finally got my hands on the pink the pinkasm um uh, charlotte tilbury blush one but anyways so we're going to talk about how to stay productive and hit any single goals that you have um i'm going to be sharing five tips with you guys and take these five tips apply these five tips and i promise you you will hit your goals okay a lot of the times hitting a goal is really not that hard you just don't know where to start and your mind's not fixated on exactly what needs to be done to hit that goal a lot of times people are just like you know i have this big goal right i want to achieve this and that's all they're looking at right that's the only thing that they see and so every single day and every single week and every single month it's just that is my goal and i would love to have that one day but there's so much that comes around with that one goal so let's say your goal is to make a million dollars or to become a millionaire right you know you can't just and that kind of leads me to number one which is fixating your mind on exactly what it is that you want um so if you just want to become a millionaire that is not specific enough right every single day every single week you're just gonna be like i want to become a millionaire one day okay but what does that look like what exactly does million becoming a millionaire look like for you so i want you guys to write a list of your goal or your goals and really really fixate your mind on exactly what these things are like what i see that holds most people back is they kind of know what they want but they don't know exactly what it is that they want so you know you may have stumbled across maybe one of my videos right um maybe no not the foundation on the white robe immediately no hey guys we are gonna disregard 
the arm sleeve it's soaked i literally just tried to put a product on it now, the issue is people are just too broad right you know i want to be successful what does successful look like like exactly even if it's i want to have a nice house what does that exactly look like to you i want to become a millionaire what does becoming a millionaire look like to you what do millionaires eat when they wake up in the morning when you're a millionaire what is your day-to-day -day life going to look like when you're a millionaire where are you going to live and exactly what is that house going to look like so the overall picture of it is that you're really really fixated on exactly what it is that that looks like so for me when i say becoming a millionaire this year I know to a T what that looks like, not just income, but exactly the income that I make, where I'm going to put it, what exactly I'm going to invest into, the exact car I'm going to get, right? The exact house, the new condo that I'm going to get for myself, the exact type of stuff that I'm going to do for my family and my loved ones, the exact trips I'm going to take. I'm so fixated on exactly what becoming a millionaire looks like. So you really need to fix it your mind. What is that goal for you? Is your goal, I want to become an artist. Maybe you're into painting, right? Um, and you love art. I want to become a successful artist. What does that look like to you? You know, to a T, not just talking about the exact type of art that you make but where is your art going to be broadcasted who are the people that are going to buy your art what type of clientele are you going to have when you are a successful artist where are you going to live are you going to open up your own art studio and if so how does that art studio exactly look the more clear you become the easier it is to get there and the easier it is to actually get what you need to get there leads me to number two which kind of goes hand in hand which is to create a vision board and there's some people that are like oh my gosh the vision boards not the vision boards it's not a coincidence that a lot if not all uh, successful people have vision boards and it's because you need to be able to see your goals every single day not just write your goals down and this is the issue majority of people they write down their goals and they see their goals once a year which is january 1st the beginning of the new year that's all that's the difference between successful people and average people average people see their goals once successful people see it every single day multiple times a day this is why a lot of people they have their goals written on their phone so every time they open their phone it's right then and right in front of them when they they have sticky notes around their house or on their fridge or on things that they see every single day or places in their house my oven's going off my chicken is ready they're always reminded of these goals and you know when you and this does two things one you're always seeing your goals you're always seeing the life you want you're 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 always 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 reminded of it right but number two you almost start to live out this reality i remember and i shared this in my first video i used to have at my old house my dad's house sorry not my house my dad's house before i moved into my condo uh, you know before i hit any of the goals that i had you know i was new into entrepreneurship I had a vision board in front of in front of my desk and every day when I worked at eight hours a day, I almost became staring at those pictures every single day. I almost started to live out those pictures and imagine myself having all those things on those vision boards to the point where I knew these things were going to become true. Number three is, you know, self-discipline and sacrifice. You need to decide what you're willing to give up to get there which is you know your goals where you want to be you have to be willing to give something up in order to get there the more disciplined you can be the more you can get yourself to do the things that need to be done when you do what needs to be done you hit your goals you create your dream life and the issue is most people don't expect to have to give give something up in order to have what they want like most people Again, I work with a lot of people. Where's my brush? I work with a lot of people. Most people, even if they say, you know, I want to make six figures or I want to make seven figures. Um, I want to create my dream life. They're just thinking of what they want. The thought of them having to give something up to get there does not cross their mind. And most people, that makes them very uncomfortable, which is why most people don't end up hitting the goals that they have. In order for you to get something that you never had before, you're going to have to do things that you've never done before. There are certain parts of you traits habits actions that you currently take habits that you currently have that you are going to have to get rid of so for example let's pretend my goal was i don't know to lose 50 pounds 
goals to lose 50 pounds and I overall want to weigh 150 pounds. You might decide, okay, in order to hit my goal of losing 50 pounds and be very specific with your goals, by the way, losing 50 pounds in the next three months or six months, you know, you want to be very specific with your goals. Um, I will give up pop, eating candy, and fast food. You think if you were to give these three things up, you would lose some weight? Absolutely. You know, you can go through a list of things that would not serve you hitting that goal of losing 50 pounds. And why do you make this commitment? Why do you need to fully decide on the things that you are going to give up? It's so that when you get presented, when you go to your family's house, when you're at your friend's house, when you're at that house party, when you're at that restaurant, the minute you are presented with that cup of Coke, immediately there's no thought on should I drink this Coke? There's no thought on even trying to justify, okay, if I drink this one Coke, I will do 30 minutes extra of cardio tomorrow or I won't drink pop for the rest of the month. There's no justifying because you already decided to give that up. Same thing for that fast food. Hey, I'm doing a McDonald's run. Do you want anything? You might be starving and you might even say to yourself, okay, well, technically I didn't eat X amount of calories so I can probably fit in that burger. You already decided to give up McDonald's. So McDonald's is out of the question. All fast food is out of the question. So it's kind of like a contract, like a, like a, like a um, an agreement with yourself. So it makes it much easier for you to give these things up when you already have it set, written down. These are the things I give it up. And I only named three things. If you really want to hit your goals, here's a tip for you. The more serious you are about hitting your goals, go ahead and eliminate all those things. I have a list of things that there is no thinking twice about it. So let's say you started a business, okay? Or you started a side hustle and you know you have a goal of being successful into that in a year from now. And got, mind you, you gotta be again very specific. What does successful mean? You know, income wise, exactly like what does that mean? I wanna make a hundred K in sales in my new business and, and I want to really launch my business hard and go all at it like that is your goal so if we're talking about something you know on that spectrum of you know business okay, so some of the things that you might give up might be like going out on weekends is it Netflix right is it watching YouTube videos scrolling on your phone before you go to bed at night now it, again depending on how serious you are you make i'm not going to give you these things no one should give you these things you give yourself these things right depending on how serious you are about going after that goal and hitting that goal and getting to where you want to be make those things that you know do not serve you so for me when i first started my my entrepreneurship journey and you know my online business i had very big goals right starting from a broke fresh college graduate making like having zero dollars to my name i was broke 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 and my first goal was to make six figures, right? That was my first ever goal. I knew even making six figures would require a lot for me. I used to be a party girl, going out every single weekend. Netflix and YouTube are my favorite thing to do ever. I will literally, every time I eat, I'll turn on a YouTube video and I just, after I'm done eating, I find myself still watching the YouTube, still watching the YouTube. And I waste like an hour, two hours watching Netflix or watching YouTube. So for me, I knew going out on weekends, I have to sacrifice. I have to make that temporary sacrifice. And I always say, you pay the price. You can pay the price now or you can pay the price later. So for me, some people might have looked at me like, especially, you know, I was 21, right? Four years ago when I started my whole entrepreneurship journey. Some other 20-year-olds, 21-year-olds might be looking at me like, girl, you're missing out. Like, we're having fun. We're young. We're cute. We're this. We're that. We're 21. We're going out. You're like, you're hustling. You're staying home to work to create this business of yours. It's a temporary sacrifice for a long-term reward. I understood. I'd rather pay the price now three, five years. I'm at a point now four years later right i'm at a level now where mind you i still have very big goals and i'm still hustling and i'm still grinding i want to really put my foot on the gas another two three four years but i understood okay i'm gonna pay the price now and i'm gonna hustle and i'm gonna grind so in my late 20s i'm done i don't gotta do no work i i have so many sources of income i have so many investments i have so much passive income i've created something that pays me forever in so many different ways like that is the level i want to be at so it's like you pay the price now which i'll do because you're telling me by the end of my 20s I, i'm financially free or you pay the price later which is you know working 40 50 60 years at a job you don't like or never hitting your goals i knew i had to pay the price you pay it now or you pay it later and when you pay it later you pay it forever so i saw it not as 
a sacrifice to go out with my friends I saw as a temporary sacrifice for a long-term reward because I knew okay yeah two three years I'm gonna hustle I'm gonna stay home I'm gonna skip that party I'm gonna skip that club but I know you know five years from now any club y'all call me five o'clock three o'clock two o'clock number one I can be there anytime because I do not work any no I don't work no jobs I work for myself I have time for you oh and aside from all that if you want to tell me to pull up to Ibiza or Hawaii or Dubai I will be there too because I have that freedom and I have that flexibility this is where my mindset was that I knew the freedom and the time that I would have for my whole life if I make those temporary sacrifices now I'm too passionate about these subjects I'm freaking sweating now because I get so into these talks before I move on to number four my assignment is for you guys to make a list of the things you are going to give up to get to where you want to go or to hit the goals that you have okay and that leads me to number four which is to create a DMO and I kind of talked about this actually in my last video um, about you know productivity hacks because listen you can have a goal right again if we're using a goal you know you started you want to create a successful online business right or whatever business you got going on you know you want to be successful in it what do you got to do every single day right what do you got to be doing every single day and this is what will keep you on track this is what will keep you productive when you wake up every single day and you know these are the things that i gotta do every single day and again definitely go watch my productivity video because i explain this in much more detail on really being productive and making a productive dmo which stands for daily method of operation by the way um but you gotta make this the night before right you wake up and you don't know what it is that you're doing you automatically failed that day you're automatically not going to be productive that day because if you don't have this you know dmo um you might wake up and you know okay for my business today i gotta do this 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 and i should do this but what might happen is you get so caught up in doing this thing but what about these four things and you want to be productive not busy that's the biggest problem i see people are busy and not productive oh my god i was so busy today okay but were really you productive today you know i you know if i were to name a couple things that i gotta do right let's say i need to edit this video respond to my messages and create content and call up some of my you know customers and my team members that i work with i might sit there replying to messages because i got a whole lot of them on tiktok on, on instagram you name it right and i might respond to messages for eight hours man today was a busy day but i know for my business to function and be successful every single day i need to do all these things so being busy did not serve me i need to make sure i'm doing all these things so you know have that list in front of you know what you gotta do every single day i mention these things in you know my my productivity video but maybe you know time blocking is something that you gotta do to, you know keep yourself on track from you know 9 a.m to 10 a.m i'm gonna do this from 12 p.m to 1 p.m i'm gonna do this again i'm gonna link my video down below the productivity one because i even explain how to make a productive schedule for yourself no matter how busy you are because it doesn't matter how much time you have it's about what you do with your time remember that the fifth and final one that i want to talk about is to design your environment for success so how can you design your environment to support the life that you're trying to create what do you need to do to make it better so are you easily distracted at home this is an example of me um you know when i was living at home i would be very easily distracted at home i guess because i didn't have like an office space i was just living at my dad's house in my bedroom so when i was working in my bedroom every single day I found myself getting lazy and I would go to the bed because that's the only thing I really had in my room. So I know for me to design my environment for success and really be productive, I have to go sit at a coffee shop where there's a hard desk, there's no comfortable, you know, I'm not gonna get comfy. I'm literally sitting at a Starbucks table, right? And I'm forced to work when I'm not only in an environment where I can't lounge around and jump in the bed or go on the couch i'm at a desk but i'm also around a lot of people if you guys know starbucks you know there's people that are just working on their laptops on their phones that and for me guys i'm not joking i would literally well number one when i first started my my whole journey i still had my job so after work i there was one it's called tim hortons i'm in canada so i don't know if some of you guys will know what that is it's a coffee shop open 24 hours there was one by my house i would get home from work exhausted but i would literally go and sit at that coffee shop for three four hours or two hours depending on how late i finished that day at work um and clock into my business clock into my work um and then eventually when i left my my jobs and i you know started working for myself full time i would have you know 
eight hours a day that I would go sit at a coffee shop, you guys. I would literally pack my bag early in the morning as if, and again, I'm holding myself accountable. The same way I would used to go to a nine to five, okay, 8.30 a.m., I'm getting ready to go to my job, even though I work for myself. I gotta take it seriously, right? So I would go and pack my bag, pack my lunches, as if I'm going to work, literally. Um, and then I would literally go and sit at a coffee shop for eight hours, right? Because I know I'm gonna, if I, at my nine to five, I would work eight hours, why am I treating my business any less? Yeah, I got way bigger goals. If anything, I gotta do overtime, 16 hours, which some days I did. Um, but I would sit there for eight hours at the coffee shop. So do you spend a lot of time in your room, right? Well, when you wake up, you gotta lock your door and I don't know what you gotta do with that key to not find it. Do you waste time on your phone? Okay, well, guess what? Go through your phone and delete all the apps that do not serve you. If you know, you always open YouTube. If you know, you always open TikTok. Now, if you have an online business like me, TikTok is, you know, a huge thing of what I do as well. But if you don't, if you use TikTok for pleasure, delete that thing, right? If you have games, delete them. Like just whatever apps you know, you gravitate towards that waste time, delete them. You just overall have to design your environment for success if you wanna win, because understand the less distractions you have, the more you're just gonna be focused on that to-do list, on the things that you gotta be doing every single day. If you wanna make your life easier, you need to get rid of everything around you that's in the way of your goals. I'm just baking, not really baking, but setting my face, but those are the five you know steps i want to give any single one of you guys and i promise you guys if you really implement these five steps and you know you really focus on every single one of them you will be productive you will hit your goals you will stay on track a lot of times when people want to you know have success i hate when there's on my lips but it's okay um, a lot of times when people want to have success, create their dream life, achieve this outcome, they don't think of all these little things, but these little things are not so little because these things are the things that come together that get you to hit those goals. Anyways, I am about to go ahead and finish getting ready off camera. Um, but with that being said, I appreciate every single one of you guys who are subscribed to me here all 12.5 k of you guys which she is just you know i'm super grateful for all you guys definitely definitely go ahead and follow me on instagram um, i'm gonna put the exact wording onto the screen here and i'm also gonna link it down below and make sure you're clicking that one because i do have a lot of fake pages it's insane um but i officially did actually get myself verified for the fact that i now have something that officially shows which instagram account is the only real christina avelis it's the only one that's verified but that is my only instagram but definitely go follow me on there i'm so i'm literally active 24 7 on my stories with you guys there every single day and that's where i i, I answer my messages any questions that you guys have anything that you want to know anything that you would like tips on or advice on or um any of the above go ahead and send me a message on there because that is where i respond to all of them and with that being said i love and appreciate you guys don't forget to subscribe drop your video recommendations down below because i would love to give more of what you guys want follow me on instagram and tiktok i'll have them linked below and i'll see you guys in my next video